Hi, this is Sue Kaufman. I'm a physical educator and I wanted to share with you some exercises that I used to teach when I was uh, working at the YMCA. It was a healthy back exercise class and the exercises are so easy and they can really, really help you um, recover from back pain, lower back pain especially. And when I used to teach this, I used to have people in my class that, hey Mocha, my dog Mocha again. I used to have people in my class that they were next thing to surgery and the doctor would send them as kind of a last resort before they would have surgery and they would take the class and they wouldn't require surgery after that. So if you did the tests that I have in my other video about you know lower back pain caused by hamstrings, tight hamstrings and weak abdominals, these can, can really, really help you. So the way you do these is I show, there'll be six of these exercises first. And you take a deep breath, you do three reps of the exercise, you take a deep breath and let it out again, and then you go to the next one. There are six total, and you go one through six, and then you go back down, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm only going to take you through one through six, and then you can finish five, four, three, two, one on your own. So here we go. The first one, is real simple. It's just a head roll. And you should take your shoes off when you do this and do them in your, in your stocking feet or your bare feet. So the first one is just a really, really simple head roll. So you can have your legs straight out or you can have your knees bent. I prefer knees bent. Take a deep breath in. And then all you do is just roll your head slowly to one side. And then the other, and that's one more up. No. Two. You want to concentrate on just letting your head fall to one side. There's two. And the last one. Get out of the victory. And then you just take a deep breath and let it go. Now the next one is just a pelvic tilt. And all you do is squeeze your abdominals in like you're squeezing your belly button to the floor. So take a deep breath in. And let it go. Relax it. Squeeze again. And relax it. Squeeze again. simply sliding your leg out and back. So take a deep breath in and let it go. Slide one leg out and back in. Slide the other one out. Second rep, and then and the third rep, slide the other leg out, and then now take a deep breath in and let it go. Next one, you'll be on your side, so you need to roll over onto your side. And you'll have to find a way that you're comfortable. I like one hand out, one hand here. 
You want your spine to be basically be aligned. And your knees are bent at about 45, 50 degrees. Now to do this, you drop one leg off. It's the top leg. You slide it up. And then slide it back. And then bring it back. That's one. I forgot to take our deep breath, so let's do that now. Deep breath in. Let it go. Drop your leg. Slide it up. Slide it down. So it's straight. And back up. One more. Slide it off. Slide it up. All the way out. And back up. Now you need to roll over onto your other side. I'm going to stay on this side so that you can see me. Well, I can do it this way. I'll just go this way. So it's you. So that I can get both sides too. So, again. So your spine's aligned and so that you're comfortable. And knees at about 45 to 50 degrees. Deep breath in. Let it go. Drop the leg. Slide. Extend. And back up. Drop. Slide. Extend. And back up. One more. Drop. Slide. Extend. And back up. Good. Now take a deep breath in. And let it go. For the last one, you'll roll it on your stomach so you're in a prone position and your hands underneath your chin. Toes are extended. Take a deep breath in. And again, you're going to bring your belly button. Try to pull it to the back of your small of your back. Let it go. And pull it in. Let it go. Pull it in. And let it go. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Now you will continue by going back to number five which is this leg, leg slide. Do those on both sides. And then back to number four, three, two, one. And then you'll be finished. And you'll do that for a week. And then check back in um, to my YouTube site and I will give you two more. And I'll explain how that works then. So, if you do these every day, you'll find a big difference in how your lower back feels. So, get started. Use your relaxation, make sure you breathe between each one, and hopefully you will find some really good results.